So wh- what was that you said, uh, JF, before we got started? You said something about something Jeff was doing. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I've had a problem on Twitter with uh, Jeff Holiday here. Uh, he's been uh, slandering me, uh, attacking my <laughs> credentials and uh, claiming that I was incapable academically. And then this fake shit lord who, who poses at, only as the shit lord he wish he was. Uh, I make I some you're... research on him. Sorry, what? Oh, no, I, I was just going to say, I think Jeff is muted still, just in case. Uh... Okay, well, yeah, that's good because I there have something go. to tell him. <laughs> okay, please, uh, by all means, please, please. I make, I make some research on him. I discovered that academically, he's pretty much where I was when I was 23 years old, and he's 35, and there he is attacking my credentials. When and, did I attack uh, your credentials? When did that happen? Well, when, when you claim that I was unable to continue a career in biology, uh, I just wanted to tell you, Jeff, uh, by the time you were mm. singing as a drag queen in your local <laughs> gay bar, I had already finished what you're trying to accomplish right now. And by I'm not trying to accomplish anything out, right now. What I'm trying to accomplish time. right now is my, uh, my YouTube channel, which is uh, significantly larger than yours. Ah, great. So you finally abandoned this idea of being accomplished in academia. That's fine. Apparently you did too. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Apparently you did and too. That's your, fair. By that's your fair. own standard, it seems <clears throat> that you're an utter failure. So that, that's that's the question I wanted to start Aww. this show with. Actually, uh, I have a lot of questions for you too. So Jeff, the, one of the main problems that we have Jeff, here too, can, can the, the, DP, the DP community seems to have this problem. Uh, you seem to have... You seem to have changed quite a bit since you were a beloved guest. You you haven't been on for a while. I think it's not since what was it? Uh, April. It's about April, wasn't well, it? Can I ask my question? Uh, actually, no, 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 oh, you can't. Okay. Uh, let's go tip so for tip. This tat. is not surprising. Yeah, from... let's, we we can go to we can go tip for tip. Hold on. Go tip for tat. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay, so who goes first, yeah. Scotty? I'd say. Um, J- Call Jeff, once you finish, and then JF, you ask your question. I'm sure it's a top provoking question. JF always has good questions. He's a good little goblin. Sure, 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 absolutely. Uh, okay, so my main question is, <clears throat> what is the impetus that has caused you to open up a dialogue with uh, very notable people in the alt-right? What, what, uh, what attracts you to wanting to speak with them? Oh, well, I'm interested in any human being who has respectable opinions, and so I listen to them. I look at what they have to say. I look at the truth of what they have to say. So why do you Dave Rubin on them? Sorry, what? Why do you go Dave Rubin on them? You're a, bi- you're a biologist. You're a biologist, but you don't challenge anything that they say. You had the alternative hypothesis on, and mm-hmm. you didn't challenge a single thing that he said. Well, first, no, one... that's not true. I didn't oh, challenge yeah. his factual statements. So his factual statements, I didn't challenge them because they are true, unless you want air to prove that the alternative hypothesis is wrong about some of their interpretation. I'd be happy to address this. But as far a, as I know... Phenotypic, a physiological phenotypic type of a brain that is present specifically in white people that makes him libertarian. And he states this full, full, like full force in your stream with, it, with you. Hmm. And... You did not address it whatsoever. You left it completely unchanged. Why would that you do that? That is a straw man. He never stated that is this not on a straw my man. show. This is, it, yes, he did. I watched it literally right before we started. Maybe you no, should re. Maybe you should go back and like reacquaint yourself with your own like your own actions, the things that you yourself have actually done. That would be no, no. maybe beneficial. What he raised is an hypothesis, which is absolutely viable. Which is no, that no, there are certain an, political like behaviors one. that are a PhD okay, in can biology. Can my sentences, guys, I, because I, I, you know, look. I, look, you're the biologist. You have a PhD in biology. Now, when somebody says something that is blatantly false, an absolutely dog shit hypothesis, you tear it apart as a biologist because that way you're actually expressing truth. You had no problem doing it to Kraut and T. Why wouldn't you do it to, to uh, the alternative hypothesis? It is What's not a dog shit. That, can I speak? It is not a dog shit hypothesis to claim that white people may have certain features in their political behavior that differs across uh, from other races. It is there a is viable state, hypothesis. There is, there is no reason to reject it. Just there is absolutely, if he's saying there's a physiological reason for it that our genes are expressing us in a way that make us as white people want to be libertarian. But <laughs> actually, prominent because he didn't say that. <laughs> what he said dude that is what he said you cannot just say that is a straw man because you don't want to have to answer the question i'm sorry but that's fact that's no, what he straw said man. i will not address a straw man unless you show me a quote and you straw oh, okay. him just like you straw man Tara the McCarthy, by the way so run away from the question let me ask you a question so do you believe that iq is a good predictor for intelligence well uh 
typically we define intelligence around what IQ measures. Sure. Uh, personally, I, I don't like IQ. I'm an IQ skeptic. Uh, I, I believe that there's lots of complexity in animal behavior that is not captured by IQ, specifically in humans too, but also across all animals. So I'm not a big fan of IQ. Okay, I, I, I am exactly the same. I, I believe that it is a good, it's a good predictor for intelligence, but I am a bit of an IQ skeptic as well. So I think we share in that quite a bit. Um, so, but do you feel like genes themselves will influence intelligence? Uh, it's pretty undoubtable that genes have an impact on intelligence. Uh, yeah. the, the variability between between different genes in the human population seems to be one of the causes of differences in intelligence. You can see that in twin studies. Uh, sure. sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then the, the big question, and this is the one that is probably one of the most important ones, and this is the one that really hinges on where I would define your credibility when you're talking about these issues as a biologist. What percentage do you feel with the available scientific data do genes play in a role for intelligence? What percentage? Well, I've explained that, that this question doesn't make sense in my discussion with the alternative hypothesis. So I, know, I would I, refer I, anyone I, wants to the answer to go see the old video. But in short, uh, wait, percentages. So I with, but I, I just, I, well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really have a problem with what you said specifically in regards to that. But I'd yeah, like to Percentages do not make sense when you ask about nature versus nurture. It's right. not percentages. You have to understand the idea of multiple causality. So, of course, everything in your brain has been caused by some genes because if the genes weren't there, there would be no brain. I guess we agree with this basic fact that genes are one of the causes of everything that you are. Of course, genes encode for proteins, proteins build the body, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, no, I understand. And, and but if there was no sugar in the environment or no no oxygen, you wouldn't have a brain either. And right. so everyone has to recognize that what we are is a combined product of multiple causes, some of these causes being genetic, some of these causes being non-genetic. Environmental. Yeah, let me ask you a question. So uh, at what, yeah. what, what point would you dismiss a hypothesis as just say, this is, there's no evidence, there's nothing sound to this, I, don't, I just don't think there's any, this is worth investigating. Is it just not, not, a, not any available evidence, not any replicable evidence? Like what is the standard you would say? Well, I have uh, different words for this. I have the words sure. possibilities, probabilities, and okay. certainty. And okay. so a hypothesis can, can be on possibility and can be very weird. I mean, it's possible that the entire universe rests on the back of a purple pony. It's possible. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about sure, physics. Yeah, yeah there, there's, 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 pro there's minute probabilities that suddenly, you know, you could fly into outer space. Sure, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh -huh. So th so that's what I use. I don't use uh, whether I reject an hypothesis. I reject an hypothesis if it is absolutely impossible. I okay. I consider it as part of the space of possibilities as long as it's not been proven um, to be impossible. So let me ask you another question. Let me ask you another question. <laughs> like the main reason why I'm asking these original questions is is kind of like a trying to set the stage because there are a lot of people in the DP community who are worried because they think that you've gone full race realist. A lot of it is because of the people that you've been talking to, people you've been hanging out with, uh, especially like that that half Arab alt right wanker who uh, who delights in trying to take the piss out of me quite a bit. Now Who's that when, uh, braving ruin, yeah, he's uh, uh -huh. he's a self hating half Arab. Uh, it's pretty hum it's honestly pretty hilarious. But so the the thing though is. When we had one interaction on Twitter, it's our initial interaction that we ever had on Twitter, and I did poke at you a little bit. The reason why I did was, it seemed that you were coming to the defense of Tara McCarthy, and I'm curious as to why you would why why you would do that because you came at me uh, aggressively and angry because it seemed to be it, it's Twitter, so obviously the tone is lost. It's all text uh, that you had a problem with something that I said about Tara McCarthy. But as you watched my video, it was later vindicated that it was, in fact, that is what she said. She was calling for the murder of somebody. Uh, well, first, what I my first tweet was a question. So I was asking, what is the evidence that supports your claim? I wasn't sure at that time because someone had sent me your claim by uh, on my live stream. 
uh, it was basically one of my audience just sent me the link and I just clicked on it and I saw your claim and I was like, well, this is not supported. And I was looking five minutes around that claim in that video. It was not supported. It turned out that you were supporting that claim 15 minutes later in the video. And so that's why I was asking the question. Now, I, I was still unsatisfied by the answer I received because it seems that in this video, you claim that Tara McCarthy calls for the killing, for the murder of non-white people she when does. it's not what she said uh, that's a strong <laughs> end of the quote that you you showed of her right. so, so the reason i'm engaging in that discourse is simply to improve public discourse if you disagree oh. with tara mccarthy that's great but you don't need to straw man her you would make your case much stronger if, if you were you, not if, to misrepresent actually, what she said she was talking about tara shooting McCarthy. immigrants let me, who, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something about tara mccarthy tara mccarthy is somebody who believes that interracial marriages and families are the same as bestiality. She's the These kind of person. Are absolutely unrelated. No, they they are absolutely related. Because here's the thing: you honestly, apparently, don't know who Tara McCarthy is. She has outright stated many times that <laughs> European <laughs> means white. She has said that many times. Same thing that your buddy, the alternative hypothesis, says: European means white. So when she okay. says, "I want the Royal Navy to kill." any non-european coming into europe she is saying i want them to murder non-white people who are trying to come into europe which is not only a titanically stupid fucking thing to say but incredibly fucking racist that's your straw man and she, she said a straw man that is supported by everything that she says and she sure seems to like you a whole lot a whole lot and it's so really helping to me and a lot of other people I'm not bothered by the fact that someone with different views than me likes me. Uh, you're <laughs> trying to poison not. the well and to do guilt by association. There, I still maintain my position. By saying that she had called for the murder of non-whites, you strawmaned her. And no, you would no. be incredibly yes. more efficient as a public speaker if you were to accurately represent the <laughs> opinions of your, <laughs> your opponents. And I would, yes. Jeff, I would maybe as opponent, just speak. like I was on your, since your okay. first videos. I I really liked you back then. I like you. I liked you too before you were hanging out with these fucking alt writers and trying to like fucking make excuses for them. You got this chick who's saying that black people are fucking dogs, and then you have a problem with me because I'm taking the piss out of her because I straw manned her, which I didn't. Now your ignorance on it, your, your ignorance on one on who Tara McCarthy is and what she thinks Europeans is is not my fucking problem. But that is what it is. That is what she means. That has been demonstrated multiple times. Her own words. I didn't make her say European means white. She said it without my compulsion whatsoever. So no, it's not a straw man. Whether you so actually this is a totally different conversation, and you have no basis to claim that it was our intent to say that. I, I find that it's a I, it's yeah. a non-interesting debate. I think we could talk about principles. I've been personally alarmed by some of the things that you're proposing in your recent series of videos. So if you want, we can move on to principles because I maintain my position. You strawmander. Of course, you may argue, oh, she's she's so bad that she deserves to be strawman. But as an intellectual, I believe that's that's the wrong way to go. Fuck Terry McCarthy. So Fuck I was her. thinking if if you guys because we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this for the whole show. We will do like our normal show eventually, but I thought maybe should I just give you guys each maybe like five minutes and then five minute rebuttals after that i can put a timer on the screen i, I think i think uh this next segment for two minutes each uh we need the biological question answered are traps gay biologically uh, we, speaking we've looked at the question for eight hours on my live stream and after after looking at all the facts we've concluded hashtag not all traps I actually, I actually, I actually watched quite a bit of that, and I, I enjoyed it quite a bit, though. To be honest with you, I did. You know, this is that's the this is the thing that's that's unfortunate. Like, I have been a fan of you, JF, for a very long time. Uh, I especially like your early appearances on DP. Like I was saying, you won your rap battle against whatever that dude's name that I keep forgetting. G man. G-Man, right, right. You're obviously a better rapper than G-Man. Uh, I do think you're a very smart person. I do. I absolutely do. I don't think you're dumb, not at all. But I, if you were to ask me, do, do I have an emotional reaction to some of these topics and some of these people that we are, you and I are both having to interact with in various different ways? Uh, yes, of course I do. I have a very strong emotional reaction to it. Is that a failing of mine? Possibly, potentially, yes. But that's also my style. 
That is uh, how I choose to use my channel. If I choose to basically drop Tara McCarthy, aka blacks are fucking dogs and they're inhuman, let's fucking kill them, and I decide to lay her down and take a giant steamy shit on her face, that's my prerogative. You can go have a conversation with her. That's fine. But it's kind of weirding some people out. I, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your channel. You can do whatever it is that you want. But it is troubling, and it made me nervous enough about it that I wanted to ask certain questions to establish whether or not you bought into the biological science of race realism. Now, yeah. I don't yeah. know if it's got a satisfactory answer, but that, that is why I was, that's why I was getting into it. We would probably have to debate for a long time to, to really get yeah, into it. Of it. It's fine to ask questions, and as far as race realism goes, as I rem as I remind people on my Twitter, everyone is a race realist. Everyone believes that races exist. Unless you're a race denialist, you're gonna have to accept that races exist. If you think that Asian women are more likely to lead to Asian babies and black women are more likely to lead to black babies, you're a race realist. Let now the question of uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I mean, and now the other questions are, okay, so what ra what do races encompass in terms of difference of behavior? And then you, we okay. fall on the controversial subject of IQ. I don't mind saying that some races have higher IQ than others because ultimately I don't back societal decisions being based on IQ. Um, no, neither would I. Neither would I. That's a fucked up idea. Yeah. So... Fine. I don't have moral issues with, with agreeing with the alt-right on the facts because I know where my morals are. And if people are shocked on my channel by just engaging with these ideas with uh, good faith and listening to these people as human beings, which is yeah. what they are, uh, I'm, I think I'm, that dude, I'm, I'm doing I'm my friends. job when I bring them. I'm friends with Mathi Buddha. You're friends with Mathi Buddha. I'm friends with Mathi Buddha. Uh, like, I, I'm fine with having conversations with people, but I... <clears throat> Maybe I'm tone policing a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm tone policing it because I feel like, uh, as an academic, with the credentials that you hold, I would have rather you attacked some of these issues that I saw as extremely troubling with the same vitriol that you did Kraut. Because you did not have any any problem taking your gloves off for Kraut, but it, it does, it feels like, it feels like to me, and it's not just me, but I'm only going to speak for me. It feels like you're much more forgiving for people on the alt-right than you are for somebody like Kraut and T. All right. So we're going to move on in a second. If you guys want to just finish it up, you guys can, you know, you can respond, JF, to what he just said and then say anything else you want. And then uh, uh, Jeff can say one last thing and then we're moving. If on. you ask me, I think Jeff is trying to salvage what is left of his dwindling reputation on DP. <laughs> Uh, I think Joe is trying to deflect from the fact that I am seriously going to fuck you in the ass when I come into Seattle. Oh. You, gotta, you, should have, you, you should have thrown in straw man, that would have been perfect. <laughs> fuck. I'll fuck your straw man. Yeah, no, I, Jesus Christ. Our uh, yeah, straw man's well, gay. Go on, Jay. I, I, I will recognize that I, I was probably a little bit more harsh in my response to you on Twitter than I needed to be. <laughs> I'll, I'll concede that. I'll concede that. I'm not a very nice person on Twitter. Yeah, that was fine. I survived. It's it's good. That's good. Is there anything else <laughs> anyone wants to say regarding this? I can't believe Jeff is making me like a racist. <laughs> I think we should fucking settle this in Mortal Kombat. You guys just fight to the death. Whoever yes. comes on the top, you know, I'm uh, looking for like primitive shit, dude. I don't like. There's a lot of fancy words being thrown around here. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. The two monkeys fight. Whatever monkey's left standing, like that's the monkey I back. Like, all right, that one survived. The other one's dead. Let's move on. We're in a room full of ten dollar words and two dollar blowjobs. All right.